Hello there and welcome to TG News. This is Terrible Gamer on the TG Network. Yes, today we have some breaking news. It was announced yesterday that TU25 will be released on July 1st of July, Canada Day. That's what I was meant to say. Yes, so this is very exciting news because we have been waiting for months and months to hear about this update when finally 4J Studios changed their banner to a fuzzy banner and that meant something big was happening. They also mentioned that there will be a Minecon 2015 skin pack released and that is also today. And also another big thing for Sony players or PlayStation or PS Vita, there will be a PS... Vita and PlayStation exclusive mashup pack with Little Big Planet. Yes, they tweeted out saying, "Oh, which Sony uh, game would you like as a mashup pack?" And obviously, the huge response was Little Big Planet. So there you go. Little Big Planet is your mashup pack. So that is it for the breaking news today. In other news, we don't have that much except for. Uh, two new videos out on Terriblest Gamer's channel today. Yes, that's me on my channel today. Also, um, yeah, let me know if you guys do enjoy this and yeah, let's get right into it. So if you will follow me over here, we will go outside and I will show you some demonstrations. Hello there. What is your name, sir? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> your name is no name, I guess. Okay. What were you most excited for in TU twenty five? Uh well, I was really, really excited for biomes, but then they didn't come, so that really sucked. And um, yeah, I just wished they would have added a bit more things that people were saying that they were going to add, like flowers and um. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. Okay, thank you for your response. Bye. Bye. Hello there. What is your name? My name's Chuck. Okay, uh, hello there, Chuck. Um, anyways, what were you most, um, hmm, I've already asked those questions. What do you like about Minecraft? I like breaking blocks, because that's what I can do. I like running up to trees and punching them. Oh, that's what I do. I just, I just want to wreck it. I'm going to punch things. I'm going to punch you. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't punch me. Don't punch me. I'm just an interviewer. I didn't do anything. Okay, uh, I'm just going to leave now. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you for your time. Bye. Hello there. With me, we have... What's your name? Stacy. Interesting, interesting. So, uh, Stacy, out of all of the new features that came in TU25, what... Are you most excited or happy about? Well, I really like the fact that we can choose whether it's night or day, and I like the changing weather thing, but I also like the different wood doors. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Is that it? Yeah, for that update, I'm really excited for the new biomes that are coming and fish and flowers and all that stuff. Cool, cool. Thank you a lot, and I will see who's next. Okay, okay. thank you. Bye. Hello there, and welcome to the demonstration. So, uh, this are all the these are all the new features that are in TU25 that I will be showing you. So, if you follow me over here, we have all the new um, wood doors and wood fences. Now, these are not new wood types, but they are new doors and new fences. So, we have oak. No, we don't have oak. We have jungle, spruce, and What's the other one? And birch. So we have new doors and new fences for those three. Next up, over here, we have book and quill. Now, the book and quill is very interesting because they didn't... Originally, they said that they weren't going to add it. But because they can now, you can now enable your keyboard or chat pad, they said, okay, why not? So now we have the book and quill. So if you open it up, you can start typing anything, whatever you want. Um, let's just type something. Okay, and then once you've typed it, you can either close it 
and give it to someone else to edit, or you can sign and close, which means that you that they can't open it again. Once you've signed the book, it's published. You can't edit it anymore. You can't change it. You can only read it. So that's that. There, that's the book in Quill. Also, we have Iron Trap Doors, which is very exciting because it's like a regular trap door, except it's iron. So it can only be opened with pressure plates or redstone, and you can't open it with by like by a regular trap door kind of thing. Okay, next up we have colored or er, colored glass or stained glass. Now this was a feature that was very exciting because this allows map makers and just even people who play survival um, to do so many things or creative, like to do so many things. And it opened up the possibilities to windows. Yes, magical windows. No, but let's just grab some random color and let's show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so there's that. Also, um, we have beacons. Now, beacons are not new, but stained glass is. And what you can also get is colored beacons. So if you go like this and place, a, place something on there, it will actually allow you to change the color of the beam that the beacon gives you. So just like the examples that I'm showing you right now, you can change the color. And you can also stack different colors to change the beam color again. Just like when you dye leather armor, if you use two different colors, it'll mesh together and make a strange color or something else, right? Also, you can divide the beacon into different parts. So if I stack up here and go higher, I can show you guys that even though I have blue down there, I can make it green up here, which is very exciting because you can divide the beacon and you can have sections of it, different colors, or you can mesh it all together to have one color. But that is about it for today. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I certainly have. And until the next, stay classy.